we are at the car wash for the first time in our new car, which is an old car, but it's new to me. Look, I'm on the right side of the car and it's so weird. And we're in the car wash. And that's where I would normally drive from. I'm excited. Yay! <laughs> I miss driving a car. You don't understand. You don't understand. Like, I took it for granted when I lived in Canada. For real. Because... In Canada, I just drove everywhere. I drove for a living. One of my jobs was selling insurance for cars. Like I was in my car probably like five hours a day, six hours a day. And when I moved here, I immediately had to rely on like trains, Ubers. Oh my God, when I first started dating my boyfriend, we were taking Ubers to each other's houses. It was like 400 pounds a month. Like it's crazy. And um, now I finally have a car and there are buses and tube stations and trains. Oh my God, it's just awful. It was honestly like, it's just and three years of that. And I did get my license switched over and from my Canada to um, UK license in June last year. But I think I've been like psyching myself out thinking like it's really nerve wracking to drive on the wrong side of the road. So I've been like putting it off for a long time. But now I finally was like, I'm just gonna buy a freaking car because my dad's coming to visit me and I need to pick him up at the airport and we're gonna drive to Belgium. And we're gonna do all this fun stuff. So I was like, I'm just gonna bite the bullet, buy a car, and learn how to drive on the wrong side of the road. And guess what? It is not as hard as I thought it was gonna be. 